The views expressed on this Turnbuckle Tabloid live stream or Turnbuckle Tabloid podcast episode do not reflect the views, thoughts, or opinions of the RageWorks brand, including the RageWorks podcast network, RageWorks content partners, advertisers, and affiliates. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. Give me a fucking mic! Turnbuckle Tabloid, cutting a promo. Doing this little something different this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this week, going to be doing a little bit more, uh, trying to do a little bit more for the other social media outlets. Going to be doing, uh, trying to get into the world of uh, the TikTokers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, because, you know, got to do what we got to do, right? Got to network shit. And I am more... Um, I'm more into the sense of trying to spread the word more about the show and as well as about uh, thoughts of wrestling on this end since individuals out there who listen to the show and know of the show and partake in the show have been very, very uh, kind and and um, interested in seeing more of what goes on here. I figure, hey, why not? Put a little bit more work into it. I got a little bit of time, right? I can... I, I can I could, I could bust out a little thing here and there. So I figured, hey, let's try the YouTubes. Let's try the Twitches. Let's try the um, let's try the, the TikToks a little bit more since I'm often promoting it. So I said, hey, why not? Let's, let's tinker around. I know how to do these things. So let's see if I can work with it. So this week, cutting a promo, we're going to discuss the possibility of one Philip Brooks leaving AEW. Not on his own behalf, though. Not on his own behest. As some may say, no, looks as though that uh, Tony Khan and his um, executives, executors, are possibly finalizing a deal to buy out his contract and tell him good riddance, seeing as though that uh, supposedly the investigation is done and complete and finds that um, the one known as CM Punk will no longer be needed because he was the instigator of said incident which occurred during the All Out Scrum. Uh, Said investigators have uh, deemed that uh, with many, many uh, instances of said participants giving uh, their side of the stories and such Seems as though those within the company who, let's just say, have been there for quite some time and uh, maybe have put some investments in said company uh, may have, uh, I wouldn't like to use the word tainted because, you know, that would, that would be besmirching the investigators and such. No, I would possibly say that they're, their contributing stories uh, may have persuaded said Tony Khan because it looks as though that there may be more of a loss if said individuals who are involved besides CM Punk may be more damaging to the company than CM Punk himself. What I'm getting at is saying, listen, the Young Bucks and the Elite and all the motherfuckers got to gotta learn i'm trying to trying to be a little bit more polite on youtube and all those mother effers are um more of a um will be more more damaging to the company if they say they you know they leave or they um believe that uh, tony has turned his back on them since they were the early days, the beginning process, the pillars or the uh, foundation of AEW. So what reason would it be that uh, he would side with Punk rather than with Omega and the Bucks? There's also uh, discussions of if it occurs that his contract will be bought out that the fact would be that uh, he will have also a non uh, a non complete uh, non compete clause, 
which I find odd, very odd, says the owner and participants of the company who started off that they said they would never do that to wrestlers, that they have, you know, they believe that wrestlers have to make their money. But when it comes to the state of individuals like a punk or an Andrade or um, whatever the case is going on with Malachi Black, um, yeah, they'll 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 have a non compete clause, non compete clause, and especially have it being one that'll be for an existing amount of time. Interesting. I um, I'm for one to saying that. Punk might actually have a lawsuit going on here if this occurs. I, I, you're going to buy out his contract. Well, good for him. Buy me out. That's fine. Uh, I, I, I could sit at home. He has what is known as F money. Uh, I could stay at home and write my comic books, uh, uh, hang out with Larry and my wife, enjoy my 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 later years he's only about two what is he 44 about the age yeah and, he, and and if he wants you know he still has the possibility of returning to the ring if he wants or if people want him which to me i would think that anyone who would pass up the opportunity of making dollars with him would be silly ridiculous but with that being said, as in for lawsuit wise, it's okay. First of all, who did the investigation? Who was the, uh, was it their HR that did it? And what gives them the uh, proper credentials and, and certifications to do said uh, uh, investigation? Also, um, even the, even the, the reports that, had been uh, released to social media and the media alike has conflicting and contradicting um, statements and statuses. We've gone through it numerous times. We spoke about it on, on different levels here on the show. And even still, there's nothing that doesn't legitimately say that one side is more at fault than the other. Is punk an egomaniac? Of course. Does he possibly have narcissistic personality disorder? NPD. Yeah, I could see that. I can see that. Does it does he have a history of being difficult? Of course. Why not? With that, if said owner of the company knew all these instances, all all, all these um problems with said individual mr philip brooks why bring him in why bring him into a company that you started and proclaim that he was basically on your mind to bring him in since the beginning of the company you persuaded him you pursued him, excuse me, you pursued him for two years, two years. And it was a development and, a, and um, discussions to bring him in. And EVPs knew about it. Um, everyone who came in on the roster had to know about that. The, the the free agency hirings that came in from WWE knew this. Never once did anyone have a problem or did we hear of a problem. But now we're getting the, 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 the inklings from uh, certain individuals, the, the certain commentary from, from said participants of the incident or the um, outsiders who's, who are basically calling him a cancer and we knew he was going to be problematic. Hmm. 
so you're basically telling me that as cool and buddy buddy as Tony Khan is, as he's the uh, the, the the type of boss that any employee would want to work for because he's so uh, open with listening to his roster and listening to the people around him. None of them said anything about him coming in and Tony not putting into that consideration. And even so, if they did have a gripe, no one made a mention of it. Right. Right. Okay. All right. So far be it for me to believe that this is hmm, possibly a smear campaign to make him look like a shit to get him out of the company because hmm, maybe the initial possibility was the fact that everyone knew that A, he was going to be a draw. He was going to bring in a hell of money. And B, bringing more eyes to the company. But you would have had to tolerate the fact that he was uh, going to be a bit of a fuck. Uh, effin, effin ass. I could get away with that. Be an F and ass. So I, 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 I can, I could deal with the fact that I got to deal with this douche. But as long as he's bringing the eyes to the product and bringing in some money, why not? So let's talk about the money aspect. As a report uh, reported uh, on, um, I got it from uh, What Culture as well as on um, Culture uh, Cultaholics and. Um, Sports Kita, the money that was generated from CM Punk in one year, one year, almost, almost outdid their promotion in two. How? And I even, I, I even mentioned this in, uh, in, uh, in wrestling groups. I really hate having conversations on wrestling groups, but I had to talk about this because there's a certainly an ignorance when it comes to uh, not wrestling fans, but AEW fans, because you will throw up the flag and represent AEW to the fullest, but, um, as soon as somebody hits you with the facts about your company, your favorite company, your number one company and such, you can't take it. Like, for instance, when everybody heard that Punk was coming in, as I'm, and I'm talking about the fan base, AEW fan base, I didn't hear not one, one not one individual have a negative comment, statement, post, uh, uh, upload, nothing. Everyone was out of their mind for this. Everyone sat there and was like, wow, this is going to be great. Oh, look at all the matchups that you could have. It's going to be ridiculous. Him and Jericho, him and MJF, him and uh, 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 Cody, him and Malachi. This could be, this could be great. Him and Paige, him and Kenny, it's going to be awesome. Wow, there's so much they can do with him. Everybody was on board, for, and they jumped on the punk train. Everybody did. Now, one individual said a, not even a, a, a thin layer of negativity or hate to him being signed to this company. And then when he comes in, gets the biggest pop, and probably AEW history, hell, and probably wrestling history. It was ridiculous when he came, especially at home. And, you know, it was the anticipation. It was the, the oh, is it really him? Is he coming back? And then when the music hits, everybody loses their fucking mind. He cuts the promos, and he is on the fucking gravy train with the whole rest of the lot, right? Nobody had any issues with this. Then down the line, you know, he's had some 
ridiculous um, feuds, and not in a bad way, and and very good for for the business, good for AEW, good for for the for wrestling in a whole, wrestling fans, not just the separatists, but I'm talking about wrestling fans. We're all about hell. I even heard WWE fans who were like, "Yo, Punk is back. I gotta watch." I told I know people who weren't watching wrestling for a long time. They said, "Punk is back. I'm watching." And that's what you're supposed to do. Punk comes back, and like I said, has such a phenomenal ride with the company, doing well. Then all of a sudden, we get little inklings, little stories that are being dropped about punk being backstage punk um and his his relationships with certain people in the back it's funny because on this show i i've questioned numerous times but in a in 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 this sense i believe it was actually a good thing because i questioned i said how is punk working with cult like not even working with him but in this the being in the same building being together because of their history and knowing the fact that he basically he and, and Colt have you know, terminated their friendship but you didn't hear anything about it heard nothing nothing you know boom boom was still work aw dark or he was or ever uh elevation or whatever dark order situation that had to happen and he was there whatever never heard any instances of any heat between the two in the back all all died but then all of a sudden you start hearing certain uh, news outlets speaking about uh, when tony khan bought ring of honor and i guess his thought process of what's going to happen with the roster and who's going to go on or whatever the case may be who will stay who will go that Colt wasn't going to be part of the plans and so you say okay some people gotta go listen wwe is known to you know send you know uh, cattle out to slaughter numerous times it happens it's part of the business whether you like it or not it's part of the business in this sense colt's head was on the chopping block and immediately you heard oh it's 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 Punk's fault that he's getting fired. I'm just like, Wait a minute. Hold on. Why? Once again, you hear nothing from this man here. Nothing about him. And not, a, not a blip. Not just because someone that he had a relationship is going to be out of a job. It's his fault. When did he get that power? Why? Because he was rubbing elbows with uh, Tony Khan for the longest. Now he has sway. I thought the EVPs were the one that had sway. But nobody had an issue or, or any um, problems or thinking of that there was going to be any problems when Cody left. Cody did, Cody, Cody basically was the the um, the lead in helping to get this promotion put together. And you had your lead guy two years in say, Fuck it, I'm out. Damn it. I thought I was going to be able to get through it. I'm going to have to uh, catch it on a bleep later on. <laughs> I'm going to have to bleep this later on. Um, yeah. It, it was um, Cody who said, I'm out. I'm gone. Out of nowhere. Where did this come from? No one questioned it. Everybody was like already bashing Cody. How could you do this? How the F can you leave? This is what we're doing. We're building this promotion, and now all of a sudden you want to go. And he said, yep, I'm out of here. So what does that tell you? What does that say about what's going on? Somebody was reading the tea leaves and, and knowing that something was going to be, be um, something's going to be problematic. Something was a monk, uh, they, they would say any case uh news news outlets especially 
that of the observer and all that, especially the observer, you know, Alvarez and um, um, Uncle Dave, all of a sudden they're getting so much stories now uh, out of the blue about, uh, well, you know, that punk and cult have history and uh, it's, it's said that he's the reason why he's going out. Couldn't be the fact. Ooh, damn. Could be the fact that um. Could be the fact that that uh, he wasn't good. Could be that no. Or that he just ran its course. It just happens. Shit like that just happens. You just run your course. It happens. So, with that, um, you get a guy who's been sitting there for quite some time and hearing these stories, uh, knowing that you, he, 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 and, and guys, I am, like I said, I don't know anything. I'm just shooting off the top of my head, being opinionated or whatever, but you can get an understanding of what's kind of going on when you hear the backstories and you hear the, um, the news outlets sharing what they think they know, because apparently now there's going to probably be NDAs and shit. Um, but you know, you, you, you can get an idea and especially if you work in a certain environment and you know that, you know, people talk shit. Can I get a, will I get a pass for that one? Maybe not. I probably have to check that one out as well. Uh, well, people, people have negativity and they will say stuff and for, and for, for time being, Punk sat there, didn't say anything, kept it on the low. It was like, whatever. Then Paige has his quote unquote epic promo, which even at that time, I was like, what? What is he talking about? It wasn't until somebody leaked to say, well, what he was referring to was this. And then. Yes, they were they were those who when Punk came in that you heard in their promos or they in in certain comments where they say, um, you should have stayed retired. There's no reason to be here. And granted, those are kind of you, know, you could took that tongue in cheek as saying, Hey, you know, that's uh part of the business, you know. You could take that as in kayfabe, whatever. And then all of a sudden you come to find out, oh, they were real, they were serious. You shouldn't have come back. Then you get the um, the response from Punk, where um, the 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 epic line of the 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 apology should be louder than the disrespect. And I was like, okay, I see this. Then finally, it comes to a head, and we get the outburst. Uh, that occurred at the scrum. Fine. Dur you're airing out dirty laundry in front of a group of individuals, media individuals, and maybe you shouldn't have done that. Understandable. But your promoter, your owner, your, your, your guy is sitting right next to him and said nothing, did nothing, allowed him to go on this rant. Why? Why, 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 didn't, why didn't he shut him up? Fear? Um, possibility that you might piss him off? Maybe there's certain... I mean, statements that he said that was possibly true that he said fuck it let him let him let him let him go but nonetheless it happened now everybody goes well you know the promo thing he's a hypocrite because he, of his pipe bombs and all that yes yes he is he is a he is a hypocrite 
and for the most part, when he was in WWE and such, that you know, uh, things were fifty fifty because they said certain stuff he was cleared, and certain stuff he went out there and he he just vied with it. And you know, guys, watch the um, Best in the World DVD. Uh, he, you know, he was given car blanche, and here he was given car blanche. But also he's sitting there saying, hey, certain shit wasn't cleared with me. I didn't get that. Any case, we 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 now come down to the fact that you know, this incident occurred. Um they knock on the door, so they say, and oh, we didn't kick it down. We we politely ask them to open the door. Okay. Then what? How did you get in if he wasn't opening the door for you guys? He he said, if you have a problem, come see me. So if you were politely knocking on the door, you would think he would open the door, right? So let's say this, this, this did occur. You got a group of guys. Who was there? Uh, Mega, Omega? Mega, the, the, I guess the, she's the second uh, in charge of AEW. You got Mega, you have, a, you have um, the Young Bucks. Michael Nakazawa, uh, uh, Brandon, you, you, you have all these guys coming in for one dude. He just finished wrestling about a uh, 25 minute match, 30 minute match. He's tired. He's bloody. He's, he's possibly injured. And what you find out later that he was injured, he's annoyed. And you're going in there to F with him. How would you feel? How would you feel you was at work and you done bust your ass all day, come five o'clock, you ready to punch out and your boss wants to come in and tell and want to have a conversation with you about your lack of work or your work ethic or if there's any problems. You're like, fam, I'm ready to go home. You got an issue with me. Wait till tomorrow. And mind you, you guys are EVPs. You guys are executive vice presidents. We can't be a little bit more professional. Oh, we just gave you the title just because it looks cool on a business card. So you press the man. And when you press him, you didn't think that he was going to respond. But the crazy thing about this, that if this was Jericho, that this happened to, oh my God, you guys would think it was great. Oh my God, he's so, you know, he's so defiant. He's so, he's such a, a cool dude. He don't play. Cause remember he pressed Brock Lesnar about the, the Randy Orton thing. He pressed Goldberg uh, uh, um, about not wanting to work with him. Oh, Jericho's a thug. But when Punk does it, the hypocrisy is real. Interesting. Interesting. Moxie would have did it? Oh, my. What? Yo, you, you you see how he is? He a thug. He don't care. That's that's just how he roll. Right. But Punk does it because, you know, he's an egomaniac. It's a narcissist. It's a control freak. And mind you. Once again, through his whole year of being in the company, nobody made a mention of any of that. Ratings went up. They had their first million dollar buy uh, 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 sales of a pay per view. Merchandise was off the off the chain. Nobody said a word about that until this occurred. So now, possibility is. Punk is going out the door. They're going to buy him out and go to AEW. Already people are discussing, well, you know, if he leaves, uh, is he jumping to WWE? Don't know. Because uh, seeing as though how Punk is and and we've seen his, um, his, his history and how he is, it, it could be hit or miss with him. With him, it's like, Definitely, I don't need to be here anymore. I don't need to be in wrestling anymore. I'm good. I'm all right. Comfortable. 
got my dog, got my wife, I'm chilling. You know, I could always expand and do other things. But at WWE calling, though, will be very interesting. Because I think, especially when it occurred with, he was there under the Vince regime, where Vince pretty much allowed him to do what he wanted to do. And it wasn't until Punk wasn't happy with the direction he was, you know, he was going with the promotion. And um, Vince just said, you know, this is the way we're going right now. And Punk wasn't happy. And he, as the terminology is, he took his ball and went home. Which, hey, in my opinion, was a sucker move. But because I, I always believe honor your contract, honor, honor what it is. But if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. He did it, and it was, you know, it was unfortunate. But but as well, this is what, eight years ago? Triple H is known to uh, mend, uh, mend certain relationships that were broken. You look at the Ultimate Warrior and uh, WWE relationship. You look at Bruno San Martino and their relationship. Uh, it was, it was tainted and 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 triple h got got it together where they're both inducted into the hall of fame hell scott steiner hated wwe hated the fucking mcmahon's damn it i'm going to have a real issue with the cussing thing but that's all right i'll work around it hated (laughs) hated the mcmahon's even hated triple h but he showed up and was inducted into their hall of fame so I don't think it would be far fetched that Punk can also have that kind of relationship. I don't see that it's far fetched that Punk can be talked to to do a couple of shots with WWE. You know, have a have a couple of rivalries here and there, have a couple of uh, storylines, angles, and such. Work with a couple of people. You don't have to listen. He doesn't have to be on the clock. 24-7. He doesn't have to appear on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown every week. It doesn't have to be that way. You keep him on a short leash. Hell, you, you could even tell him, you could even ask him, hey, who do you want to work with? All right, no problem. The opportunities are there. Be fun. Work with Roman. Work with, with Kevin Owens. Work with uh, um, work with Sheamus. Work with uh, uh, Austin Theory. There's so much that's there for the pickings. And <laughs> can you imagine in 2024, Punk is there and <sighs> come to Royal Rumble or wherever it is, it occurs. Cody, you get, you get to work with Cody again. And it happens where MJF shows up. Wouldn't it be something? The MJF situation I'll discuss on another cutting a promo because uh, I find that to be interesting what can occur. But as for now, um, I really, really think that if WWE does not show any interest in Punk, although they have gazillions of dollars, but even for his last run, if you want to call it his last run, you'll be leaving a lot of money on the table. A boatload of money on the table. That'll be interesting. So for everybody who's been watching the video, I want to thank you guys for uh, partaking in just a small uh, portion of Turbuckle Tabloid. Uh, two episodes every week, guys. Uh, make sure you check us out on all podcasting outlets. And this is just the... Um, snippets of what goes on there's more and more uh that we do on our shows uh, every week so just make sure you download subscribe be a part of the vibe of turnbuckle tabloid at least for you guys who are been who've been watching on video and as for you guys who've been listening to the podcast uh, we'll be back we have much to talk about uh m2 ink is coming back and uh he has much to discuss especially with his own uh 
YouTube video in which he put up when, when he discusses the instead of the four pillars of AEW, he has now uh, implemented the four killers of AEW. So check out check out um, check out his his YouTube page and much much more. So guys, don't go anywhere. Stick around. We will return. And for you guys who watched the video, thank you for your time and uh, check you guys in a sec.